Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. We're back here on the Forever Bedrock Realm where a lot of cool things are happening and a lot of cool things have happened since our last video. We've done a few streams where we've gotten some progress done on the base and I think while you go take a look at that, I'm gonna go re-gear a little bit. Um, I did get attacked by a zombie here in my bedroom and I I got back all of my armor except my boots. Uh, I didn't have my elytra on me so it didn't despawn and I blocked this off. I think what happened was the our walls are just tall enough so that at night time it's like level zero up there and mobs are able to spawn but then it's not a far enough drop that they won't you know die upon making the fall and the zombie just made his way down in here while I was stood over here not paying attention I had walked away and he got me so <laughs> I need to get some enchantments on some boots and we still haven't gotten backup gear but we have a lot of stuff to do so I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the uh, what happened on the streams we've got some new farms and stuff going on and I'm gonna go over to the um, village uh, to the uh, to the inn to the Enderman farm and I'm gonna get some levels and I'm gonna enchant my boots and stuff uh, as soon as I grab some books to put on them and then we're gonna come back and do a little bit of more progress on this base we want to get this uh, one chunk base done but before we come back here from the Enderman farm there is something else that I'm gonna show you guys and I think you're really really gonna enjoy it I'm pretty excited about it and I hope you guys uh, get as excited about it as I am so here's the footage of you know some building going on and stuff like that right there if you aren't if you are missing the streams it's uh, twitch.tv slash juggerite and you don't have to miss out on anything going on and obviously I can't fit all that into a video so you can come hang out in the chat and enjoy the stream with us it's a pretty great community that we are got going here with the forever bedrock uh, members and stuff like that right there and you guys can also see them in action as well and somebody pranked me with a shrieker somewhere as I keep hearing it and I, I see it over there now so I may uh, well that I, I have not been able to find this thing <laughs> so I'm not sure who did that uh, that's something we'll have to investigate also but uh, here's those clips and I'm gonna go re-gear my boots and then the big surprise uh, what we want is we want lighting down here we don't want any torches but we do not have our wall designs in or anything uh, basically last stream we built this sugarcane farm here um, it's real simple we just use observers to watch the kelp grow and when it grows three tall um, on either end it harvests everything um, I think it reaches all except for one so that would be the other end so when the other end um, gets triggered it'll still catch all but that other end and any that's made it up too high in the middle unfortunately I haven't been in this world um, since we did this um, I this past week I haven't had a chance to get on and do anything so we haven't gotten anything out of that yet but the sugarcane farm is inside our base and we need to figure out about our walls here um, we definitely need to get our walls in uh, we did put in the uh, polished deep slate floors which I really really think was a good choice but uh, let's take a look at what materials we have and what we could do for these walls but uh, I think basically right now we have this staircase here but I think we want to mimic this on this side but instead of using the sugar cane we want to use uh, bamboo we should have a powered rail I didn't miss both of those there 
and we need two more regular rails. Maybe I did miss both of those. Alright, so powered rail there, powered rail there, and our two regular rails down here. Now we have our setup, right? Um, so we're, we're going to put some cobblestone slabs in the middle of this too. Uh, just because, our, well, actually we can do that solid. Uh, we don't want anything to fall down into that middle area. And we're going to put our glass right here in the middle. And our pistons will go on top of this. And again, our observers will go up on the third floor. So let's go ahead and get our logs in here as well unfortunately this is a click 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 process because uh, otherwise it does like that if you try to drag it across right I think the buttons on the end of the logs kind of help give it like a because of the textures it helps give it some depth A good chance to see how I did the uh, I should have paid more attention to how I did those sides while I was right there right so I know um, we want these here like this that's there so it Technically, I guess if an observer goes off, it's going to harvest um, front and back. So, you know, there's, I don't think anything wrong with that. Um, it just means that uh, more stuff gets collected. So they may trigger, oh, slightly more often but again not enough to cause major lag or anything like that and doubling it up the way that we are is definitely going to make it worth it for the uh, rates that we'll be getting Maybe it was the buttons we were able to reach. Because they're out flush. And hopefully that shouldn't... Yeah, I missed one back there. I thought about it after the fact I should have did the top first. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't give it uh, too much of that uh, end vibe, because that's uh, that's definitely not what we want. And I kind of like the this little staircase deal. Um, I'm thinking I might go ahead and keep it consistent throughout the base. Get up right there. Actually, if we do that. And we can easily get the rail back without too many problems. On Java Edition, they seem to be able to get the rails out from under the minecarts without issues. But um, in Bedrock Edition, I've never been uh, that lucky, right? 
I don't I don't know what kind of luck you guys have with that. That's definitely something that uh, I would be interested in knowing. What we need is this here. Right. This here. All the way down. So at this point we are able to put our observers in which we want to use to watch the grass blocks right to make sure our grass blocks are doing what we want them to do so basically we point our observers in I probably should have came out from this wall one more technically um, so we put our observers in here and it's not going to do it from there so let's come up here put our observer in here put I'm gonna have to do this a couple at a time here observer no too far. They're going to be real peculiar. So observer there. And we can check and make sure. Um, basically you want them facing like this right here because if we get this out of our way. Um, we got the red light back here where the arrow is pointing to. So that's where you know, our redstone signal is going to come from. So technically our observers are going to be in the wall and they're actually going to power back behind the wall. Um, so we're technically going to spill out of the chunk here like we have for some of the other things on the outside of the base up top. Except this isn't cosmetic, uh, it's actually part of the functionality upside down staircases like that you may have to push all these line cards okay, it seems like they're all sticking out a little bit <clears throat> The upside down staircase will allow us to open up our chest and claim our rewards for setting this thing up. And it's a just a nice little way to. Oh man, I'm coming back. <laughs> it's just a nice little way to round this up too. And our dispensers can just sit right on top of our observers just like this we have our dispensers now on top of our observers if we place a piece of redstone right here on each of these and we'll go ahead and throw some torches in between each one but the redstone will fire those pistons We just want to go up to here, up to here, and up to there, and just go around in a little zigzag like that. We got two babies. Two of the babies. Alright, um, actually, let's get you down out of the way. Can we get you in there? Yep. And boom. Now he can't get out. That one's in. Let's go ahead and. Oh, I can't get him. To, I can't get him closed off quick enough. Let's. Ah, they're so fast. <laughs> the babies always want to go back to the parents. And I would say center of the room would end up being like right here somewhere. 
and we can definitely move this. So we're going to have the wall there, and we'll just say for now, right here. We'll say for now that's where it's going to be. We do not have any chickens though, uh, so we will need to get some chickens. And we're going to kind of do similar to what we did a moment ago. Um, we're going to bring this up like that. And I think we can go ahead and do that number, right? And they will keep our minecart, hopper minecarts in place. Uh, that's the main reason we don't want this cap here. We could have left the uh, there and you know kept mobs from spawning but we want these to keep our hopper minecarts in place. This level here we will pop the wall back in or out like so. So even though we've got the same blocks I guess that will add a little bit of depth bring this one across and I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is where uh, the chicken coop is going to stay but for now I believe something like that will do uh, we may end up sliding it over to fit a few of them down here and have you know more ways to collect the eggs or more storage for the eggs like you can put one chicken in here and th that that's all you need and you'll end up with a ton of eggs in no time if I was to basically do this number and this number that would put me four from the wall, right? Well, thank you, Fred. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> A shulker box full of iron. That is, that is amazing. And I'm not, I'm not even short on iron. Um, but I, I mean, I, I guess it's when you have like three iron farms, <laughs> you uh, kind of uh, have a reason to try and get rid of it, or you know, you can gift it away like that. I have no idea how I'm gonna pay him back for this iron, and he's not gonna like he has no need for anything really. <laughs> I mean, I might really get him to take an extra pair of uh, an extra pair of elytra if I get lucky out there. But uh, in general, he he he, may, he does some amazing stuff, and uh, the rates on some of his farms are pretty good, pretty good. Um, if you're watching and you haven't checked out his channel, uh, go check Fred out on the and definitely, definitely worth the view. Alright, this seems, is it just me or does this seem, well once we get the lights in, it won't seem so dark down here. I guess this is, uh, we got these torches, so nothing's gonna spawn. The darkness is mainly up toward the ceiling, which is actually okay. Um, I'm just, I'm pretty sure it's hampering our production rate, so. Which, technically I guess doesn't matter. If we do lantern there and go like say I don't know uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, yeah, hold on. one, two, three, four, five. More in there. Well, that was a bad throw. We'll probably do this 
number. So two more. So I'm out here flying around the uh, gaming district, and as you can see, there's been somewhat of an outline placed out, a rough outline. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the next set of plans are for whatever. Uh, there's the gold farm that me and Jonathan put together. And a very, very nice uh, looking, uh, I believe that's the uh, courthouse that uh, was built. And I want to say Kay built that, but I can't swear to it. <laughs> um, I've got a ton of phantoms after me as I haven't slept in I don't know how long. <laughs> But uh, there's a rough outline out here. So this is somewhat where the game's going to be. The Horror Labyrinth. Uh, we'll have an above ground entry. And everything will go underground. And I'm going to die if I don't get out of here. So basically... With the horror elaborate, uh, the plan is to have a labyrinth for everybody to run through. Of course, it'll be one at a time, and there will be a point system set up. And I'll get into more details on how exactly that'll work at a later time. But right now, just know that it's going to be a huge project, and there's going to be a ton of streams on it. And... If you again if you don't want to miss out you can always uh, join us over on twitch Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern time and that's when we do our live streams and we're gonna begin working on that I believe probably the next live stream so that's gonna be exciting I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna do the uh, entrance to the horror labyrinth um, I'm gonna have to talk to a few members about that. I don't want to like approach on anything anybody else has going on in any ways because I mean this thing's gonna be huge but we can bend it a little bit to our will to make sure we're not interfering with anything else anybody ha has going on. So we're gonna head back to the base and we've got one more project before we finish up today's episode. A lot of stuff in this episode I know. Um, and that's why it's taken so long to get out. Uh, it's been a course of three live streams and a lot of other stuff going on. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it and hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, last little bit that we're going to work on. Alright, so for the next part of the project here, I want to get this room all filled out. And we've got some stuff here for that. Uh, basically a workroom so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and then we'll take a look at what we've got and we'll be that much closer to getting our one chunk base down and done and I mean as soon as we get done with this base we can go to the new area and start our base over there but uh, for now uh, this has been our ongoing project and with the horror labyrinth coming and going to be working on that here too it's going to really slow down progress here if we don't buckle it up so i really want to get as much done in each episode as i can and i hope you guys are enjoying what i'm coming up with so let me get to work and then i'll give you the tour so what i've managed to come up with is really a simple concept but uh we got some armor stands over here which i would like to get a full set of leather armor and dye those like two different colors or something and I may, may move them uh, spread out between there and that other corner and or something. We'll, we'll see later. But I, I put these barrels in and threw some buttons on them just to add a little more detail. thought that was a nice little touch. So we have like this strip going through here where the workbenches aren't. Where we also have our brewing stations and... Uh, our smokers and our furnaces blast furnaces our table saw can sit here and you know we have our um, 
or Gil here. <laughs> For some reason, I cannot off the top of my head think of uh, what that's called. Yeah, that, I'm drawing a blank. And we got our grindstone, our crafting table, and of course our ender chest. But uh, it's, a, it's a fairly simple concept, but it's nice and open. And we still got plenty of room for storage for our potions or whatever we're um, working on or whatnot. And I really, really like the concept. I just kind of have the ceiling blocked off right now because there's nothing up there. And uh, we don't want mobs getting down here and killing us while we are not paying attention. But let me know what you guys think about uh, our workroom. I mean... I think uh, for a simple concept and getting uh, a lot of functionality out of it, I think this really pulls it off. It's a very simple color palette with basically the spruce and the oak uh, other than our, our walls here. So I was really happy to keep it, that I was able to keep it a simple look and still get the uh, point across. I, uh, I, I feel like a simple, a, a simple vibe is appropriate for a work area um, less distractions and whatnot right and because it's a work area we added in some railings here to give us a little bit of security around the uh, staircase here so let me know again what you guys think about it and um, I'll be interesting to see what you say down in the comments below it's very important to understand that I've had a lot of fun making this episode even though a lot of hours have gone into it and it's important to remember that having fun is the reason we do this, you know. Um, playing with your friends and things like that. And I've got some cool friends here on this realm that I get to play with. Um, just a lot of amazing things going on in this world. We got to see a peek at some of those things earlier while we were out at the gaming district. Before we got ran off from the Phantoms trying to take us out. Don't forget to check out the other Forever Bedrock members. They all have awesome things going on right now. And there's a lot of great projects in the works as well as things that they've already completed that you can find in their previous episodes. And a big shout out to uh, Case Creation for all the hard work they've been doing over on Hogwarts. Hogwarts. It's coming along really, really nice. And I should have probably flown by there and got a nighttime peek. But uh, again, the Phantoms were just a little too much. And... Thank each and every one of you for joining me in today's episode, and I hope you really enjoy what we got going on here with our one chunk base. Again, comments, uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions for what to add in, and maybe it'll make it into the next video or two, or you know at least can be considered. And I hope that uh, you guys really like the idea of the horror labyrinth. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you're not on board with that yet. As soon as we get started, you will be. And I um, don't know what else to say other than if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. And we've got a little ways to go. We're just over halfway there. And you can help make that difference. Also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Bring that bell so you don't miss out on future videos and stuff. And you never know uh, what the next episode's going to bring, right? So I'll see each and every one of you in the next video.